a page on your website that you don't want showing up in search results? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hide a WordPress page from Google. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com where I help you figure out the DIY solutions for website tech and SEO. So today I'm going to show you how to hide a WordPress page from showing up in Google search results. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you're already logged into WordPress. And what we're going to be using for this tutorial is the Yoast SEO plugin. So if you don't have that installed on your website, make sure that you do that. So in order to get it, just go over to your plugins, click add new, and then just type in Yoast up at the top here. And it looks something like this. So once you install it, make sure that you activate it. You will know that it's activated if you have the cute little Y icon with SEO right here in the left-hand side. So, what we're doing today, we're going to be doing for specific pages or posts on your website. So we're not going to touch any of the Yoast settings themselves because these are more so like website settings as a whole, okay? So let's say for instance, that I have a page on my site that I don't want showing up in search results. So for example, that could be my newsletter success page. So this is a page that when people sign up for my newsletter, they get redirected to the newsletter success page. So I don't want people from Google finding this page. I only want people that have already signed up for my newsletter to find this page or to be on this page. So that would be a really good example of a page that you might want Google to ignore. Okay, so let's go ahead and change the settings. So go ahead and click edit. Okay, so now we're going to scroll down here to the Yoast SEO settings. Keep scrolling until we get to this advanced tab down here. Go ahead and click on that. So normally the default settings is allow search engines to show this page in search results. Yes, because normally we do want that. Like we do want our homepage or our about page to show up in search results. But we don't want this specific newsletter success page to show up in search results. So we're just going to click this drop down and click no. And then the next question is, should search engines follow links on this page? And you're gonna wanna click no. Why? Because sometimes honestly, search engines and like the robots, the crawlers don't listen very well. So if they do somehow through whatever get on the page, we don't want them to follow any links on the page or anything like that. We're basically trying to tell them, yo, stay off this page, okay? So after you go ahead and change those settings, go ahead and update your page. Once that's done, we're gonna view the page and we're just gonna double check that the settings are there. So if you're using Chrome, right click and view page source. And we're going to want to look for this tag right here. So it says meta name equals robots, content, no index, no foul. Foul, <laughs> follow, no fo follow. Wow, I can't speak today. So this is the tag that you want to see on your website. So that basically tells Google bots, hey, don't crawl this website, ignore this website, I don't want it showing up in search results. So by viewing the page source and finding this tag, it basically just tells you that the settings that we just set up on Yoast, updated on the web page properly. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you'd like more help DIYing your SEO, I have an online course that runs you through all of the important things so that you can get your website on Google's good side. 
So you can see the details over at mariahmagazine.com slash easy SEO, but I'll also post a link in the video description below so that you can easily click on it. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button and take a second to comment below and let me know how it went or if you have any questions. So if you're not a subscriber yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss out on all of the DIY website tech and SEO tutorials I have coming your way.